Hey. So, um, been really bad about doing videos. Sorry. It is what it is. Um, part of it is it's really hard. <laughs> this is just an excuse, but that's fine. Um, it's really hard to do videos of things like training dogs or horses when you have to be attached to a cord for any of y'all to hear anything. So, we're working on that point piece. Um, still going to be a little bit before we can get it fixed, though. So, we're kind of just going to talk through some stuff today. Um, we're going to focus on the training the horses aspect of it. We'll be over in the horse pen in a minute. So, first, safety around horses. You want closed toes to choose. Boots, leather boots, leather work boots are preferred. Why? Um, tennis shoes, you can get by with them if you're around decent horses. Um, the problem is tennis shoes usually have a soft top. A good leather work boot is more durable. It's going to protect your foot. Most horses um, are at least a thousand pounds. Um, if you're dealing with a bigger breed, they're going to be bigger, obviously. Ponies can still hurt. Um, I've about had my toe broke before through a boot and it was by a pony. Um, but that boot gives your foot protection. Leather is a lot more durable um, unless they point their foot down like when they're stomping a fly and literally stomp on it. You're probably not going to have a whole lot of hurt with them. Um, you might bruise your foot, but you're not going to break it. So, that's the first thing. Um, some people say wear gloves. I usually don't. Um, if you have really delicate hands, maybe. Um, if you are working with an untrained, or green, as we call it, animal, who you're just getting halter broke, you might wear gloves just so you don't get a rope burn. Never wrap a rope around your hand. They will drag you. Um, yeah, that's the basics. Um, if you're halter breaking, there's tons of trips, tips and tricks out there. The easiest way is honestly to get a halter on them. You might have to get them in a corner, but get a halter on them. Get them in a small pen and let them drag the rope for a while until when they step on the rope, they stop. It saves you a whole lot of trouble and work. After that, um, a lot of the guys who halter break professionally, they actually use an older horse. Um, then the horse, the older horse, can, they can pull, the new horse can pull on the older horse and not them. It's way easier on your body that way. That's a whole nother thing. So, um, that's basic safety, closed toes. Um, what else? Oh, respect and manners going off script here. So, respect and manners. This is what's going to be like different videos throughout the week, so you get it all in one shot instead, and we're going to try and move fast. Your horse needs to respect your space. If you would imagine a hula hoop, just a normal size, it doesn't have to be a giant one, just a normal size hula hoop, put yourself in the middle of that hula hoop. Your horse is not allowed into your space without your permission. And that space is the size of that hula hoop. Now, this is really easy for younger kids to comprehend. Which is why I use the hula hoop analogy, because it is easily recognized. My horses know that I am the alpha. I am the boss. There is no questions. If I walk into the pen and I have trained my horses so that if anyone with two legs walks into the pen, 
There is no fighting. There is no arguing. Anybody who picks a fight is chased to the corner until they apologize to me or whoever the two-legged critter was, person was in the pit. So I'm going to break my own rule. I do not have shoes on, but I need to go in and look for a couple nests. So while we're out here, we're going to keep talking. Um, my horses are also very aware of where their feet are. When they're stomping flies, it doesn't matter. Your toes will get stepped on, so be careful. Um, this is Mojo. This is actually my old trusty. He is the one actually I've done therapy lessons on. So, and the one my kids are currently fighting for. So, um, once your horses respect you, they're amazing partners. They will do whatever you want, usually within reason. Um, and they can be fearless on anything. So this is my current horse. This is Panda. You say hi. Yeah, you like the camera. So Panda's actually pure Arab and he loves the camera, don't you? Come on. You come. Come on. Come on. There we go. So you will not get to this point right away. We have a mutual respect and understanding. He could pull out of my hand. He knows he's strong enough. Come on. But he submits and walks with me. Why? Because I spend a lot of time with him, haven't we? I've also worked on training him. Not everyone can train a horse. And I will be honest, I actually sent him away for a couple, for a month to get finished because I did not have the time to finish him as I wanted. So don't be ashamed of it. It's not a big deal. When you are training a horse for riding, for really anything, riding, pulling, doesn't matter. Horses are big animals. If you screw them up or train them incorrectly, they can be very dangerous to themselves and to you. So you want to make sure you know what you're doing. If you don't get help, I've learned a lot through different people I've worked with. Um, I've watched a lot of videos. Clinton Anderson is by far, honestly, my favorite. Kind of sad he closed down his school. But he's honestly my favorite one to learn from because he teaches it so well that you can understand. They're subtle clues that animals give and horses give you. speaking of subtle clues, um, to communicate with you. Com animals, especially horses, communicate in body language, and you have to learn what to look for in that. Ain't that right? So, find somebody who can help you. I'm not going to go into details on how to train a horse. That's not my place, and that would be very unsmart, wise, or really safe of me to tell you how to train a horse simply through a talking video. That's not something I can do. Ain't that right? I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to post them in the comments and I will answer them. If you're wanting more details, more insight, join my free group. It is, we talk about different homesteading things. Um, we're going through all the animals right now and it is completely free. So yeah, um, it'll have a link for that below as well.